definition of a monomial. And then what I'll do is I'll give you a couple examples. So what we previously talked about, we talked about, you know, um, monomial. We talked about case which is mono. And we'll talk about, you know, mono and mono, one-on-one. -on -one. We talked about things that, uh, uh, you know, like the monorail only really having kind of one little train we're talking about this. So mono, we kind of found out was going to relate to one. So whenever we're talking about monomials, we know it's going to be related to one. And that's very important because actually, what is a monomial? A monomial is a number. I guess you guys didn't know that, right? Number five, that's a monomial, right? It's also a variable. So when I first started talking about x's and y's, we could have just called them monomials. Those are all monomials. Just one number, one variable. Or it's also the product of a number and one or more variables with positive exponents. Okay? So let's just kind of go through um, and think about that. So guys, whenever we're talking about numbers, that's a monomial. Whenever we're talking about variables, that's going to be a monomial. Whenever we're talking about the product of them, the multiplication of them, that's going to also include us a monomial. All right? So let's look at a couple examples. 5 is obviously going to be a monomial, right? It's just a number. We could also say x. That's also a monomial. Therefore, also is 5x is also written as a monomial, right? We could keep on going a little bit further. We could say 5x squared is a monomial. And I could even multiply another one because what it said is it's the product of a number and one or more variables. So it doesn't matter how many variables I have. As long as my exponents are positive, it's still going to contain a monomial, all right? Another thing you guys need to understand is it didn't say anything about division, did it? But this is also a monomial. And why is this going to be a monomial? Because you say, Mr. McGuire, this says division. There's nothing in division. Remember, we can always write a division. It's just another way of writing you know, multiplication. This is the same thing as 5x times 1, 1 over y. So it still can be rewritten as a multiplication problem. Okay. And lastly, well, really that's about it. So let's go and take a look at a couple of non-examples. All right. Here's some non-examples of monomials. And these are kind of the common ones a lot of students like to say. They understand five and they understand x, but then somehow they get into this thinking that <coughs> five plus x is going to be a monomial. Okay. And we're going to talk about what this is in a second, but. It doesn't say anything about addition or subtraction in here, does it? It just says about multiplication. So this is not going to be a monomial. And another non-example, which we'll show. I'll show you how to rearrange this so it looks like a monomial. But what if I said x to the negative second power? Okay. Now we're going to learn how to ways to make this look like a monomial. But right now, that is not a monomial. All right, because it's, it's to a negative exponent. Okay. So really, guys, when we're talking about monomials, when we're going to be talking about this question, the important thing for you guys to understand, all a monomial is just a number or a variable or the multiplication of the numbers and variables together. Got it? We love monomials, right? Everybody loves monomials.